Hey, what's going on guys? This is CJ. Thank you so much for tuning in. I thought there was a couple of you sweaty nerds out there wanting to know exactly how my setup is all uh, ranged. So I thought I would make a video seeing how Far Cry and Metro and Division is coming out that I would show you guys my streaming setup that is almost done. So I'll, uh, I'll turn the camera around and actually show you guys what this setup is about. So as you walk in the door, you go straight and you are presented with this section here. And my idea is to actually put a table here and I'll stand or sit on the other side with a table and I can actually do unbox videos or do my computer build videos right here. And that's kind of my idea. But with the green screen, by the way, I will probably wrap that up and put it on the top somehow. So I'll probably figure that out, but I have the one light that is uh, super bright and if I move the screen screen, then the light will actually show over here. So that's my idea. I have like a little bills list over there, mark off all my bills. Currently I have a ethernet cable going to my TV in this room here. I thought it would just be a better idea than doing a wireless connection. And then right now I have this all rigged up uh, for my internet, but this is just a barrel and then the cover here should go on like something like that but I'm just leaving it how it is at the moment and I'll tighten this cable up after I get all my setup actually completed so that the cable is not you know spiraling all the way down the wall I wanted to show you guys the green screen right now this is actually new I just got it not too long ago and this is super cheap so my first idea was to actually get this I'll show you guys this so this was my green screen before and I want to show you guys exactly that green screens do not cost that much money. So what I have here is a board, very, you know, you can see, it's like probably a quarter, quarter thick, maybe even an eighth, who knows. And then I have green paper and I just set that behind my chair and it was a green screen and it worked actually really well. Even with imperfections like this, I was really surprised and I was happy. I thought green screens were just really expensive, uh, at least the ones that I was looking at. However, just so you guys know, I will post all of these products that I have in the description if you guys actually want one. And so what I did was I bought this board, which was I think $10, and I had to buy a 25 pack worth of paper, which was, I think it was, I think it was $12 because it was the colored paper and it wasn't just white paper. I think white paper was like $7 or something like that. But, so I have this, I have a $10 board and then let's just say, I don't know, let's just say $10 worth of paper. And I put those together so that would be 20 bucks. And actually this green screen on Amazon is I think it was $10 or maybe it was $12, $12.99 I think. I'll uh, once again post it in the description so you guys can actually look at it. but. That's absolutely amazing. It works great. It's tall. Uh, I did have it against the wall uh, for a while, but I don't think that worked out as well as it just being uh, right next to my chair. And then I have my light. This is a very cheap light. This is nothing special. I mean, it's bent and uh, taped up and looks funny. And it's just a 100 watt bulb and just projecting onto the screen so all my cameras actually pick up the green. With the game setup, this is uh, pretty cool. I mean, I have my Pepsi here, have a Canon T6 camera, and then like uh, Sense, my gunner glasses. This is a C Sonic. For you guys who don't know, C Sonic brand it is just like power supply calendar, which is pretty cool. And let's see, I have my Artist Fi is from Steel Series. And by the way, none of this is sponsored. I'm just showing you guys what I use. If you guys ever want to get into gaming or want a little bit higher quality stuff. And I want to explain to you guys stuff about keyboards and mice here pretty soon. But uh, I have three Asus VG248s monitors. These are 144 hertz. They're not uh, 240 hertz, which I myself don't really need. Uh, 140 hertz is more than enough for me. I might upgrade to 240, but I think the price for a 240 hertz monitor is kind of high at the moment. So I'll wait on that. 
and these are all using DisplayPort, except that one is using a DVI cable for my streaming machine, which I'll kind of go over here pretty soon. Uh, so I have these headsets, have the monitors, and then I have this M400, I believe, keyboard, mechanical keyboard. It's only blue LED. SteelSeries has came out with different keyboards now that they're RGB. And uh, once again, I'll post it in the description. And then this is my mouse. This is RGB, of course. You can change it to whatever color you want. They advertise, you know, 16.1 million colors that you want it to do. But uh, this is the Rival. If you guys can see the, the name there, it's the Rival 110. I think it's a $30 mouse. And this is something that I want to explain to you guys. Before I show you the actual mouse, I want to show you the Corsair T1 racing seat that I have. Very comfortable, really nice, and I sit on here for at least four to five hours a day on my chair here. And it's actually really nice, so I'm actually happy about that. Uh, it should be, I mean, it's a, I think it's a $400 chair. Um, with the mouse, this $30 mouse, I want to let you guys know, this is something that I get on a daily basis, that everyone asks what mouse I use, and if a mouse actually makes you a better player. I mean, to an extent it does. Having better hardware does make a good player better but with um you don't need to ex you know you don't need to spend like a hundred dollars on a mouse and thinking that it's going to be you know better than a 30 dollar mouse and you know it could be better than a 30 dollar mouse depending on the mouse but this is why i love steel series i have a 50 dollar keyboard maybe maybe 70 dollars if it's not on sale i think it's 70 bucks and then this is a $29.99 mouse. You can get it at Best Buy, Amazon, whatever it is, or in the description. And this does have, I think it's 100, 100 DPI to 36,000, or maybe it's 8,000 DPI. And DPI is just a sensitivity thing. So having more or less is not better than the other. Just most people usually play with 400 DPI. I use roughly uh, 700, maybe 400 tracks well and then get a good mouse mat i have this hyper x uh, mouse mat that is cloth so i don't like the hard mats that comes down to a personal preference as well enough about the mouse i'm sorry guys um so the webcam that i use is a logitech 922 or c922 uh 1080p at 60 fps at 720p so not at 1080p but most of the time i stream in 720p so it doesn't really matter I have a Logitech uh, subwoofer and speakers combo. I can't remember the name of it, but I will probably find it and post it in the video so you guys can actually see that. Um, right now, I am using a Audio-Technica 2035, and then this mic stand that I bought all together. I mean, it was like 10 bucks, guys. It's really cheap. And then came with the spider mount as well. The, the mesh... Uh, popper stopper that I got was separate so you guys will have to buy that I think it was like five bucks and then I did buy a separate cable not too long ago actually I was using the cable that came with the mic stand and it actually worked really well but I just wanted to something you know this looks nicer <laughs> uh, I'm all about the niceness thing you gotta have something that looks nice and then this is literally just foam from my graphics card box and uh, it was on the very top I cut it just so the mic would, you know, it'd sit behind the mic so my, my voice doesn't actually bounce off this wall. It's uh, to at least help it somewhat. I know it's not the best thing in the world and I will get sound dampening eventually, but it uh, hopefully it helps out. I don't know if it does or not. Uh, that's my other side of the speaker. And then that Audio Technica is connected to the Focusrite Solo Gen 2, and that's where I can control my volume for my mic. And that's plugged in to. Uh, USB on the back of the computer. This is uh, my prized possession, I guess. I absolutely love it. Most parts are EVGA in it currently. I have a Corsair 850 watt power supply in there, and then my EVGA, 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 and EVGA uh, parts. I'll link them in, in down below so you guys can actually see this. But you guys can see the idea of the build of course i wanted to do midnight purple as everything else is midnight purple if i could change my keyboard i would but i can't i have a modem my nighthawk uh, ac 1900 and the modem is actually the cm 1000 right there i keep all my boxes if you guys are like that then 
leave a comment down below. I keep all these boxes in the closet outside. And then I have my streaming machine, which I actually made a video about this. I'll, I'll post that in the description so you guys can actually see what I bought and then how I modified everything to actually work in a case like this. It was a slim machine, but I upgraded the heat sink, which was an HP motherboard. And the heat sink actually worked uh, with a little uh, fiddling around to make it work. And then with that guy, I have a Logitech keyboard wireless keyboard with a trackpad on the side so that I can simply just move this over to where I'm sitting and type and I don't have to actually lean over or anything like that and don't have to have a cable in front of me. But that is my setup and I guess I have my table here and that was from Ikea. It's, um, I bought the, bought it myself, I built it myself basically. It was one of those build it your own kind of tables and the, the table itself I think was $40 I think. And then I got the adjustable legs and these actually unscrew and then you can pull them out and then tighten them back up. So they're not like adjustable easily, but they do adjust in some way. And I think they were, I think they were like $10 per leg and I have four of them. So I think I almost spent about $90 on the table and then a bunch of crap there. I have my shredder there, uh, box rocket fish for the the surge protector underneath that was stuck up on the table, but now it's on the ground. I did have a EVGA 650 watt, but had to upgrade once I got the TI version of my cards. And I know I'm behind on the 1080 TI, but I will be upgrading to the 2080 TI Strix. I had a 2080 TI, and I returned that, and now I'm going to get the Strix instead of the uh, EVGA model. So kind of moving away from everything, and I would love to show you guys anything else. If you guys have questions, post it down below as well. I just wanted to make a quick video, and maybe this wasn't that quick, I guess, but wanted to show you guys my setup as I think I told you guys on my stream, I'm not sure if you guys actually watched it, but I did recently move, and that was my chance to kind of buy new stuff and rearrange this whole entire room to this corner with a green screen. Oh, by the way, these are actually hooked up with push pins. So they're not, it's nothing expensive holding it up at all. And then I have my Far Cry stuff right here. And that's that, that cheap green screen, which I'll throw away. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. Consider subscribing for Far Cry New Dawn's coming out. Metro Exodus is coming out. And also Division 2 is coming out. I think I'll buy Division. I wasn't really set on it yet, but I think I will. And then the beta is on the 7th to the 10th, I think. So seeing how this is a gaming channel, I wanted to talk to you guys about gaming for a second. And I will be playing that and streaming that if I can on the 7th to the 10th. Uh, probably like four hours a day, I think. Unless I could get that off work, then I'll stream it more often and then make videos about it. And then Far Cry and Metro will come out. I think Far Cry is probably going to... I mean, I'll probably beat it pretty fast. I'll probably make more videos about it. But I think Metro's looking more of the open world and I think that'll be more exciting than Far Cry. Um, don't, don't tell Ubisoft that. <laughs> but I'm super excited guys. Thank you so much and hopefully I see you in the next video.